Hi there, and welcome to this bite-sized video on setting up a simulator to run Bisto doubles. Bisto is a method used when you are teaching people to ring plain bob doubles. And if we look at the information sheet for Bisto doubles, which you can get from ringingteachers.org, we can see that Bisto is a doubles method which reduces plain hunting on two bells for the treble ringer. Now, you could say that Bisto is very good if you have a treble ringer that wants to practice making seconds, because all that the treble does within Bisto is it makes seconds over each bell in turn, whilst all of the other working bells make three, four dodges and lie behind. And you can see here, the 3-4 up dodge, lie behind, 3-4 down dodge, which is what the 2 will ring. If you are a tenor ringer or you want to practice tenor ringing, then this is a really good exercise because you simply are making four strokes behind each bell in turn with the exception of the treble. Uh, so it's good for rope sight or an introduction uh, to rote sight. So how do you enter Bisto doubles into your simulator? Now again we're going to look at Virtual Belfry and Able. These aren't in the simulator software uh, by default so we have to actually enter them and we do that using place notation. Now if we start off with Able we could either write down all the rows for Bisto doubles. So basically write each one of these and then determine which of the bells are not moving and then put that into place notation format. Or alternatively, we can use a thing called Micro Cyril, which contains details for Bisto doubles. Now, Micro Cyril is a great big list of hundreds of uh, methods. Uh, these are plain five bell methods and you can see here that they have the notation available to you. All you have to do is scroll down and find the one you want. But as you can see, there are many hundreds of these. So there is an easier way. In Able, if we go to edit and add method because that's what we want to do. We have the ability to get the method from the Micro Cyril library. So if we simply click that and select the type of method we're looking for, which is a plain doubles method, all we have to do is start typing in the name. And if we, once we get to there we can see Bisto Little Bob, which is what we're looking for. If we click OK, then we can see it fills out the name. We'll make that a bit prettier. Bisto Little Bob doubles. It says it's five bells. It has a short name of BIS. This is what appears in the um, blue line and then we have the actual notation itself. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of that because we can use that shortly again in Virtual Belfry. It does put in for you details of bobs and singles if you wish to use them, uh, but for the standard method all we have to do is click Add and Finish and we find that Bisto Little Bob Doubles has been added to the list of available methods. We can look at the blue line and we can see that the treble is, as we expected, just making seconds, bell two, three, four, and five. We've put this into our learning exercises, but of course you can put it into any method section you want for the right number of bells. All that remains then is to push the go button and you can start ringing Bisto Little Bob Doubles. Next time.
Okay, you can see here that BIS has come up on the left hand side. So that's all there is to starting uh, Bisto in Able. Stand. So if we now look at doing exactly the same thing in Virtual Belfry, we have the control panel on the left hand side here where at the moment we have Plain Bob Doubles selected. We click the Doubles button and then down at the bottom we get the method list. So if we click the method list, we can then simply add a new method. So we select the new option, type in the name, and it will add the doubles for you afterwards. No need to type in doubles. Then we're going to put in the notation that we copied when we put it into Able. So I'm doing Control and V to paste it. And then there is a button here that says convert from micro Cyril. And what that will do is it will take the notation that we had and it will turn it into the format that Virtual Belfry understands. And then we simply click OK. We now have it in the method list. We can click choose. And then we can again check it on Virtual Belfry, you click the Generate button and that will generate a course for you. And you can see here that bell, the treble is just making seconds over each bell. Two is three, four up, long fifths, three, four down, and so on for all of the bells. If we want to check it by ringing it, we literally can click start and then go or just click go and it will start at the uh, after go two rounds. Next time. Stand. Okay, so there you have it, how to set up Bisto or Bisto Little Bob Doubles in your simulator in both Virtual Belfry and Able. Hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all very soon.